very first, I just want you to say your name and spell it. We cut this out because when we tag everything, we want to make sure we spell your name. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Michelle Collier, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E-C-O-L-L-I-E-R. All right, introduce yourself, tell us what you do. Hello, I'm Michelle Collier from CSI, a division of Westel, and I'm going to introduce CSI Westel's new product, the UDIT, a universal DAS interface tray. It has 12 RF modules, slots, which can be a combination of various technologies, which will support various wireless service providers. Any POI can go into any slot. They are reversible so that we get access to the 716's DIN connector to be tightened for proper PIM rating. Feeding out to the DAS are uplink and downlink simplex cables with QMAs. Should you need to replace a POI, they are easily removable and can be reinserted. The GUI will recognize the module and reconfigure with the same settings as previously set on the module should it be the same type of module. Each module is shipped in the high power mode which will handle small cells to BTSs. For the high power mode it will handle high power from 20 to 50 dBm. In the low power mode for the small cells it will handle 10 to 40 dBm. We also have combiner modules and we recommend filling the blank slots with blank panels for proper airflow. Our 13th slot is our control slash power supply module. As you can see, we have remote accessibility so that you can control the product. We have LEDs so that you can see if the product's in alarm, as well as it will capture the SNMP traps for their knock to realize if there's an alarm and properly send a technician out to it if necessary. But because it is a remote controlled system, they can also dial in from the GUI to see what the levels are and determine if a truck roll is necessary or if they can actually make adjustments from their office or via an iPad or phone wherever they happen to be located.